The USS Edson is due to arrive in the Saginaw Bay in the next two weeks. She'll undergo the works of full restoration before opening as the newest naval museum. But it's going to take a lot more than just a beauty treatment to ensure she'll attract throngs of visitors. They require a great deal of TLC. And it, 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 it's constant. And up there it may be even more so because of the uh, the winters that they're going to that the ship is going to be facing. The Saginaw Valley Naval Ship Museum hopes to make the Edson the main attraction on Bay City's riverfront, but experts say successful warship museums need to find creative ways to make money. You must run the museum as a business. Take the USS Midway in San Diego, for example. It's museum by day, event venue by night. Its downtown location is easy to find and ideal for tourists. Last year, it drew more than a million visitors, making it the only naval ship museum to crack that threshold. But the battleship Texas in Houston, on the other hand, is battling signs of age and the rising cost of maintenance. Water leaks shut it down in June before it reopened earlier this month. Other struggling naval ship museums are getting by on fewer full-time workers in the weak economy. The waters could be rough for the Edson. I know they're very proud to be getting the ship, and as I say, I wish them every bit of luck. And uh, uh, I know they can. I know that they can make a success of it. Still, historians say there's an allure about the destroyer that, if marketed in the right way, can be a lasting testament to America's naval history and to all the sailors who served on board. Jane Park, NBC 25.